Life is a big adventure, a game filled with multiple kinds of experiences. It is your attitude ruled by your mindset that defines how you choose to perceive an experience and how it will impact your life. And what if I told you that your attitude could also impact your intelligence, your performance and your learning experience? What if I told you that it could be the determining point in whether you succeeded or failed? As Henry Ford once very wisely said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So, synaptic plasticity is the process of uh, forming new synaptic connections between neurons or eliminating others based on your experiences. So the, the more you use a specific synaptic connection, the stronger it will be and the less you use it, the weaker it will be. This means that everything that you do every single day has an impact on your brain's physical structure. Now, neuroplasticity, so your brain's ability to change over time, is actually involved in learning, memory, as well as making you more intelligent. There are, of course, certain periods of your life where your brain is more sensitive to neuroplasticity, such as childhood or adolescence, hence why a younger person might be more resilient than an older person. And this is also why what you do during these very important periods of your life is crucial to your brain's development. Psychologist Carol Dweck came up with the terms growth mindset and fixed mindset and actually conducted a very interesting experiment on seventh grader. She basically divided the class into two groups. The first one uh, was told that intelligence and performance relied on them and their attitude. When you choose to adopt effort-based learning, which means working hard, solving problems, getting out of your comfort zone and taking risks in order to learn something, your brain basically uh, forms new connections and makes you smarter. The second group, however, was only given a presentation on memory and was not introduced to effort-based learning. As the year unfolded, Carol Dweck realized that the first group that was introduced to effort-based learning developed a growth mindset, meaning that they believed their school performance and intellectual abilities was in their hands, and as a result became better learners and achievers than students from group two who tended to believe that intelligence was something that was fixed and set at birth, and as a result had a more static or fixed mindset. Students in the growth mindset group were better at problem solving and more confident at being faced with challenges and developed a unique ability to find new strategies to achieve their goals. On the other hand, students from the fixed mindset group were more likely to succumb to failure using the I'm not intelligent enough excuse. Now, what's interesting is that the two groups also had two different goals. One had learning goals and the other performance goals. Can you guess which one is which? Students with learning goals were driven by gaining knowledge and experience in the name of learning. They were more persistent, found inspiration in the success of others, and saw failure as an opportunity to learn and increase their chances of success in future situations. You can probably tell that this is the growth mindset group here. On the other hand, students with performance goals were more focused on their self-image and how others perceived them. They put themselves into familiar situations they had control over in order to show off their abilities and get others' approval in the process, in a way to flatter and protect their ego and perhaps to hide some insecurities in the process. They ended up being less likely to learn something new as they kept putting themselves into the same kind of situation and as a result developed static abilities. Finally, failure was something they feared and tried to avoid at all costs as it just showed their limits and incapabilities. To which Carol Dweck writes, why waste time proving over and over again how great you are when you could be getting better? 
And this is what the growth mindset does. She says, the passion for stretching yourself and sticking to it, even or especially when it's not going well, is the hallmark of the growth mindset. This is the mindset that allows people to thrive during some of the most challenging times in their lives. The key here is to put our ego aside and understand that we are all apprentices of life, no matter our intelligence, our level of success or our experience. Learning is part of our personal evolution and is one of the greatest gifts we possess, without which we wouldn't be able to do most of the things we take for granted, such as walking or eating or talking, reading, cooking. True success, in my opinion, is defined by your ability to learn and keep on going despite the difficulties and use the newly acquired knowledge to your advantage in the present moment. Now, one way to help you or help your child develop a growth mindset is to practice stoicism. Uh, stoicism is basically the art of finding the opportunity for growth and evolution that every situation holds whilst emotionally detaching yourself from them. This is something I explore in more depth on my Patreon account. By supporting my work on Patreon, you will be able to directly contribute to the development of my platform and channel, always being granted access to a lot of different benefits, as well as having my eternal gratitude. Another thing you could do is to watch the words you use on a daily basis. It's actually quite basic, but extremely important and efficient. For example, instead of saying, oh, you know what, I can't do it, it's too difficult, I'm just not good enough, instead say, I can do it. I'll figure out a way to achieve my goals. With time and with practice, it will become easier. I just have to keep going and I will always find a solution no matter what. The most important thing is that I am learning. Something else that's quite interesting to keep in mind is that your body will always try to keep a state of homeostasis, a state of internal balance and stability, where you do not feel stressed and in a way where you do not feel danger, and will therefore send you signals to stop whenever you engage in something um, difficult, risky or challenging that you're not used to do in order to come back to this state of homeostasis and in a way protect your body. Now, instead of succumbing to those signals, stand up to them. Push your limits a little bit further. Do things you're not used to do. Take risks. Do it a little bit longer each time. That way, you will be able to form a habit and grow a mindset where you challenge yourself and become more persistent and dedicated which is the foundation of a growth mindset. Remember, everything you do every day changes the neuroplasticity of your brain for the better or for the worse. The good thing is that you are in control of this and you can start working on it now. If you wish to dive into the physics, quantum physics, philosophy, psychology and neuroscience of time, you can do so by enrolling in my course Time Immersion, available on my platform Noviria. That way you'll access over 50 videos that will completely alter your perception of reality and allow you to develop a healthier relationship with the past, the present and the future whilst reconnecting with your inner self and understanding the bigger picture of your life. The first two modules use an immersive format, kind of like my immersive learning videos, except that uh, there's a story and some riddles, so it's more like a movie to watch and you get to learn about the science and the philosophy of time and time travel. And in the third module, you get access to tons of insightful videos along with loads of small, easy exercises and steps to follow every day to um, become the master of your life or a master of time and time perception. If you are interested, just go check out the links in my description below. If you have any questions, uh, any concerns, please do let me know. Just comment down below or you can contact me at contact at noviaria.com and I will be very happy to answer any questions you may have. I truly hope you found this video insightful. If you did, you can give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if there's any advices or thoughts 
you would like to share with us regarding how to adopt a growth mindset you can also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell just you know to not miss uh, any new videos and i will see you very soon with a new video in the meantime take good care of yourself